the inspection. You want to start out working your way from the outside in. Um, typically, take a look at the bottle, feel the bottle, make sure there's no deformities, no significant scratches or gouges to it. Also, take a look at the pack that's holding the bottle. Make sure there are no cracks. Make sure it doesn't bend in certain spots where it shouldn't be. Make sure the mechanics of the actual pack itself are functional. From there, we can look at our straps. Of course, make sure there's no discoloration, no fraying, no weak spots, no uh, threads that are coming unbound. Make sure all your harnesses are fully extended and make sure they extend freely. From there, we can take a look at our regulator. Make sure there's no debris inside. Make sure all of the valves are functioning properly before we turn it on. Make sure your belts connect lock and disconnect freely. From the regulator, we can take a look at our hose. Make sure there's no cracks, no dry rotting. Your disconnect. Make sure it's free of debris. Make sure it connects and disconnects freely. As well as your low pressure hose, check your high pressure hose for the same stuff. You're going to make sure your bell is free of debris. From there, you can make sure that your hydrostatic test data is within five years. And you're going to also want to make sure that your bottle reads higher than 2700 PSI. After that, we'll go ahead and turn it on. We're going to listen for the bell and we're going to listen for the pass device. Okay. I'm going to check both of our gauges, make sure they're within 100 PSI of one another. I'm going to check to make sure the pass device functions correctly. So you're going to let it sit and sound off, go through all of the different stages. Then you're going to want to make sure that the emergency button works. After that, there's a critical part to this whole thing, that's your mask. You want to make sure that your inside nose piece is in there free of debris. Make sure that your, your surrounding um, rubber face piece is clean. You also want to make sure that your shield is free of cracks free of burns, uh, make sure that the exterior um, plastic surrounding piece is intact, and you're also going to want to make sure there's a strong seal around your face before you hook up to the SUVA. At which time, before you hook up your mask, you can also check to make sure that your battery in your mask is okay, make sure that the LEDs light up. Connect to your mask. If everything's working okay, you shut your bottle down and you're going to listen for the low air bell and the actual alarm itself. You're going to do your inspections after fires per your department's weekly checklist and after replacing a battery that needs replacing. Uh, after all of your inspections are complete, you want to make sure you enter that in the computer so that the department has a history of that specific SCVA. From here, we're going to move on to emergency situations dealing with the SCVA itself. We're now going to cover SCBA emergencies. When anytime you're entering a hazardous atmosphere with your partner and you encounter problems with your SCBA, your face mask gets sucked to your face and you're having trouble, you immediately go to your bypass valve. You're going to open your bypass valve in a short burst anytime you're in, in breathing in. If that doesn't work, you want to make sure that your main valve is open on your bottle itself. So you're going to reach behind and you're going to make sure that your uh, bottle is open. If your bottle is already open, what you're going to want to do is disconnect your quick connect. Get, not, notify your partner first and forehand. Get his attention. Is it up, it's up to the firefighter with the problem to disconnect his quick connect and hook up 
to, the, to his fellow firefighter. Once you're able to connect to your partner, this will buy you valuable time to get out of the hazardous atmosphere. If your bottle is already open, you need to make sure that you stay calm at this point. Try to control yourself. Make sure you do not take your SCBA mask off. You can, number one, buy yourself some time with a quick breath by using your glove as a filter. So you'll disconnect your regulator and put your glove over your mask. You can also put, get as low as you can and use the carpet as a filter. You can also find furniture surrounding you and use that fabric as a filter as well. Once you've got your, your quick breath, you need to quickly reconnect your regulator and disconnect your quick connect and connect it to your partner. Now you've bought yourself enough time to get out of the hazardous atmosphere. This concludes our SCBA emergencies. It's important to remember to train in-house so you don't have to learn how to do this in an actual emergency. गाइस हमारे चैनल को सपोर्ट करने के लिए रेड कलर का सब्सक्राइब बटन को दबाकर हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें साथ ही साथ बेल आइकन को भी दबाएं ताकि हमारा वीडियो सबसे पहले आप तक पहुंचे गाइस हेल्थ एंड सेफ्टी रिलेटेड आपके पास कोई भी क्वेश्चन या सजेशन है तो कमेंट सेक्शन में जाकर कमेंट जरूर करें साथ ही साथ लाइक बटन को दबाना ना भूलें एंड थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग माय वीडियो